Hey, welcome back to Jazz Time. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online, and if you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate if you purchase your next watch from us at JazzTime.com. Today we'll be going over an Oyster Perpetual Datejust 31 in Everose Rollsor, as you can see here, with a rosé colored dial, diamond, hour marks, and a jubilee style bracelet. Reference number 278271. All right, so as is indicated in the name, this is a Datejust 31, so it's 31 millimeters from finger to thumb. All right, going over the case, it also has a monoblock middle case with a screw down case back and winding crown to ensure water resistance down to 100 meters or 330 feet. It has a fluted style bezel right on the front holding in that uh, scratch resistant sapphire crystal so you can clearly see the dial with no fear of, of uh, suit threads or buttons potentially scratching it or damaging it. All right, there's a cyclops lens directly over the date for easy reading at a glance. And this fluted style bezel, by the way, is also made in a, an Everose gold, one that sort of very much matches that of the dial, okay? It has the fluted look made to effectively uh, it was originally made for screwing directly onto the case, very much like the, the fluting that you see on the case back, which is literally screwed onto the case. But the fluted bezel used to be of that sort of nature, but you know, since modern technology has sort of deemed that kind of unnecessary for the waterproofness, they still have put it onto their Datejust and other models for that mark of distinction because you know that it is certainly a Rolex whenever you see this fluted style bezel. It's always in gold and in, th in this case it is Rolex's own Everose gold which is made of gold and other compounds to effectively make this warm tone of gold that it, that they claim to have a long lasting uh, color fastness basically so that it never loses its, its color over time. All right, Going into the dial a, an almost matching colored dial. It has the rosé sunray style dial with the, the sunray finishing allows for that sunburst sort of look as you can see happening on the dial as I move it uh, throughout this light box. And it also has those round 18 karat gold settings which allow for those diamond hour marks to be placed. There's uh, 10 of them total with only the Rolex crown and the day window taking up two of the hours at the 12 and 3 o'clock positions respectively. All right, the date aperture shows you the date very clearly with a white background, black text on it. And when it comes to the overall functions here, we can actually take a look at it. Okay, so unwinding the crown to the first position, you can wind the watch. And if you are at a dead stop, you can probably get it started with an about 20 to 30 full winds, All right? No problem there. Pull out to the next position. You can rotate the crown counterclockwise to advance the date and the throw is very sensitive so keep in mind that it's it's about a quarter turn to advance the date by two days so if you're a time traveler this will make an excellent addition to your list of tools that you can bring with you when you travel forward in time very fast all right but if you for most of us if you find yourself on say the 29th or something of february you can just advance to the first of march very quickly and same with other other months that have only 30 days you can very much easily just skip over 31st and go directly to the first no problem okay pull out to the funnel position and notice that it actually hacks that seconds hand so it stops that seconds hand so you can then precisely set the time based on the minute hand and i found personally that the best way to set the time on a dial like this, since there's no minute or second track, you only have the hour markers, is to actually look at the Riho, Riho, Rihot, the inscription on the inner side of that bezel. If you, if I can, that's about as close as I can zoom in, but you can see very closely that it says Rolex multiple times, and you can use that as your uh, minute track effectively, so that you can then press in the crown, wind it tightly against the case to ensure that 100 meters of water resistance and with a precise minute hand at least. All right, so what makes all of this work is the movement, the in-house made 2236 movement made by Rolex themselves 
has a it has a precision of plus or minus two seconds per day after casing so that certainly exceeds swiss standards of timekeeping it has the center hour minute and seconds hands with the instantaneous date with rapid setting and stop seconds for precise time setting all within its functions very sophisticated piece of tech inside the oscillator is a is the newer siloxi hairspring in silicon with pantage geometry it also has high performance paraflex shock absorbers so what all of that means is essentially you can get close to a magnet it won't uh, cause the watch to run erratically it will be keeping time just fine also the paraflex shock absorbers help reduce the effects of shock on the watch so any you know unexpected bumps and little twists and turns here and there will keep the watch running just fine nothing will you know really interrupt its timekeeping well assuming that you don't use this you know with a jackhammer or anything like that the uh, rotor inside is also a bi-directional self-winding rotor which allows you to effectively wind the watch just by wearing it on your wrist all right so when you wind it fully you have approximately 55 total hours of power reserve and you know keeping it on your wrist will keep that power reserve up so you can set this down on a friday evening you can pick it back up on a monday morning and you may need to wind the watch depending on how late you removed it from your wrist on friday evening all right but you know Friday nights, you probably would stay up longer. So, you know, no need to worry there. All right, all of this is framed on the Jubilee style bracelet, five piece links all the way across, three intermediate with the outer links being uh, brushed steel on the outer portions with a high polish along the sides there. The intermediate links are all also ever rose gold, all high polish as well to give it exceptional luster and sheen. And going down to the clasp, we have this uh, concealed folding crown clasp. That's the technical term, but effectively, you don't really see much of a clasp here, just the Rolex crown, which sort of blends in very nicely with the rest of the Jubilee bracelet. Now, this sort of uh, crown clasp only really shows up on these smaller datejust, like the J Datejust 31, not so much on the newer models of say like the Datejust 36s and the 41s with the Jubilee style bracelet. Those have the oyster folding clasp. This is the concealed folding crown clasp. And to open it, you simply just get your finger underneath the top of the crown and pull and it opens nice and easy. That shows you that the, you know, the bracelet is mostly made of steel. It also has Everose gold going down the center, also being known as a two-tone type of watch. And while we're here, I can try it on give you some of my thoughts as to how it feels on the wrist all right so to fasten it just simply do the opposite press on the top upward in the direction of the crown the way that the crown is pointing to effectively close the clasp all right and keep in mind that there's no sizing option here on the fly at least the best way is to obviously um you know remove or add links as necessary. And so on the wrist, my wrist is 7.25 to 7.5 inches in circumference, so about average size for my build. And you know, for my wrist, it is a rather small watch. It's not really meant for someone of my size. Well, but that's sort of a, a general consensus. My personal, uh, I don't really have an issue with this. My personal feeling about this is that, you know, it's very light. It's more an accessory, but you know, it, it still tells the time as I need it. And also I do get an excellent framing of bracelet to case because the height of this case, you know, does actually extend a little bit further beyond, you know, the, those initial 31 millimeters. So it allows you to actually get a good framing of the bracelet, regardless of where you look at it on the wrist. All right, and when it comes to the overall weight distribution, I'm not really feeling much of the case. It's, it's very minor. If I swing my arm around like this, I can sort of feel it, but otherwise the, the counterbalance of the entire bracelet against the case on this side really makes it so that it feels very centered on the wrist. And when it comes to the overall presentation, it's an excellent presentation with the rosé colored dial. It gives it a very, you know, co cohesive look as the Everose gold does give it that warm tone as well, just like that dial. And so altogether, it feels like this is all just one singular material, just very lightly framed in this very light uh, satin brushed 
stainless steel bracelet with these high polished lugs on the front. All right, so enough of what I think. What do you think about this watch? What sort of dress would you put with this or suit or you know any other sort of clothing? What would you wear with this watch? Because to me, this is kind of a warm, a bit on the warmer side when it comes to the, the overall color scheme. But you know, I feel it's pretty close to neutral. You can wear just about anything. But if you have any ideas, I'd like to hear them down in the comments below. Be sure to like the video as it helps the channel out. Also subscribe so you can be notified when we go live with another video and also by ringing that bell icon. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this watch or any other watch, be sure to click, click down in the, in the description below, jazztime.com, our online store. We'll see you there and we'll see you in the next video. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.